Yeah, look how awesome and perfectly white and snowy it is outside. Isn't that just so really interesting? I've had two days off from school so far, two snow days this week, and it's been pretty awesome. And this is all to distract you from the fact that I didn't make a new segment to the series I've been doing this past Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna explain that now, and I guess kind of update you because I believe I made a video uh, the other day. I'm talking about like. That or I was planning on making a video, so let's make this that video. Okay, but first of anything, I'll address the fact that I forgot to make a dumb state laws segment to my new series on Sunday, and I was planning on doing a late edition on Monday, but then things occurred that I will get to later on the video. They're not serious things, I'm not trying to give you like a, like, <clears throat> not trying to make you suspect a dire situation, but just things happened, and I'll explain what things happened. Oof, that's snow, man! Okay. Uh, so, the reason I totally forgot to make a segment for the past few, even a late edition for the segment for the past few days, was because, uh, okay, I was just adjusting my pants a little bit, they're riding up. Don't you hate that? Is that a reflection of... Is that a... Okay, either I'm crazy, or, like, there's this big, shiny thing, like, right... I can't see where it is on the camera? Somewhere down there, but it's, like, a weird, bluish, kind of, shiny thing down there. And I'm like, is that my window reflecting off the sun onto the snow? It's weird. So anyway, that was a totally different thing. Uh, okay. Blatantly honest, I... Totally forgot to do the segment because I have recently been kind of pressing myself for time a little bit because I, what I'm trying to do, okay, so this past weekend I finished all the up-to-date episodes on Kill a Kill, there were 14, I believe there's an episode 15 now, but I'll save that for later on a couple months from now, because, uh, okay, so what I did, I watched the first 14 episodes of Kill a Kill, so that's done for the moment, at least. I can put that off until all the episodes are done, and whatever. And then what I did, I watched uh, Fairy Tale Phoenix Priestess, the Fairy Tale movie, and now what I'm doing, I'm currently on anime hiatus, and if you don't know what a hiatus is, I've used it several times before in my videos, which is essentially... I mean, it's a fancy word, but essentially it means that I'm just not doing something for a while in lieu of something else. Uh, and that something else is, I finally decided to start watching Doctor Who, and I love it so much! S mm, I love Doctor Who now. I know, I knew for so long that if I started watching it, I was going to absolutely love it, and now I've started watching it, and I'm like, I love this even more than I thought I was going to? Oh, uh, it's so great! Oh, uh, and I finished, uh, like, I think as of Monday, I think, I finished season one, like, in two days, which isn't really saying that much, it's only a 13 episode, uh, season. Bleh. So, I finished the first season, which is all about the Ninth Doctor, who's played by Christopher Eck, he has a long last name, Christopher Eckless. I don't know, I haven't seen his last name, I never really pay attention to him, I haven't... I mean, no, I pay attention to him, I didn't pay attention to his last name, because it was really long, and I just can't pronounce it. No, but anyway. So now I finished season one, and I just, uh, like, a couple days, no, not a couple days, yesterday, uh, I finished the first episode of the second season with my dear beloved David Tennant, the Tenth Doctor, and... I can already say, I know I haven't gone that far, I haven't gone to Dude What's-His-Face, who is the 11th Doctor, I don't know the actor's name, but I haven't, of course, I haven't gone anywhere close to the 11th Doctor yet. But I can already say, probably without a doubt in my mind, that David Tennant will be my favorite Doctor, because he's just so great, like, in the first episode of the second season. Uh, he's fighting that, uh... Sycoraxian, he's like fighting that Sycoraxian, 
I'm not sure if he's, like, the emperor. I don't think, like, emperors would be dispatched to, like, capture planets and whatever. So, I don't know. Let's let's call him the Sycoraxian general. I'm not sure if they ever gave him, like, a rank or a title in the episode. So, he's, like, the head Sycoraxian dude on that big, like, asteroid ship and whatever. And so... Okay, so then, uh, David Tennant wakes up, he was in, like, this frickin', he was in, like, this, like, deep sleep because he was still trying to, like, exhale all the time vortex energy from the TARDIS, which he absorbed at, in the season finale of the first season. So anyway, I'm explaining all this. It's only, like, five and a half minutes. Okay, I should pry this up. But, I don't know, I just love Doctor Who now, okay? I love it so much. There's a big-ass flash from the window, son. Okay, so anyway, and so, he's, uh, he's sword dueling the Sycoraxian dude, head, Sycoraxian, whatever guy, and, uh, so anyway, like, their fight, I don't know, my brain is just so scared, I'm thinking about all these things, but okay, so, he's fighting him and stuff, and they're sword dueling every which away, and so, like, now David Tennant, like, kind of beats a, like, little tactical retreat over to this, like, outside area, and they're, like, on the outside of the ship, and you can see London from down beneath them and around them and stuff, because they're, like, high up just above the city and whatnot. And so they're fighting. And so the Sycoraxian dude, uh, he cuts off David Tennant's right hand, and then he stand he just stands up, and, uh, I can't remember exactly what it is he said, because it was lots of science-y Doctor Who terms. But, uh, essentially, he still, he was, at that moment, he was still in the last 15 minutes of his, uh, regenerative process, which happens when he was, which happened when he was, like, reincarnated from the 9th to the 10th, like that. So, uh, and then he just holds up his handless wrist, and then all of a sudden, a hand grows on his wrist. I'm like, he is so awesome! And then, so, Rose tosses him another sword... Dr. Catch! I don't know, Bioshock slash Doctor Who reference. Dr. Catch! So he catches a sword, and he's like, ah, and you want to know the best bit? This new hand, it's a fighting hand! And he says it in a southern accident, and they goes to duel the sicker accent dude again. It's so cool. He's so funny and witty, and I love him, and the way he dresses is so excellent. Like, the suit and the freaking coat and everything. Oh my god, I'm gonna love watching this. I'm gonna enjoy becoming a Whovian, because I'm not there yet. I don't think I've gotten so far as in the series. Or if you're generous, you call me a Whovian right now, but I don't know. I wouldn't say just yet. Let me, like, finish at least, like, the second season, then I think I may be able to uphold the title Whovian. Uh, so I'm kind of still starting out, because there are, like, Eight seasons, I believe, so far in Doctor Who, and so like I'm only on second season, so I'm not really that far in. But I'm going to keep watching it, and it's going to be fantastic. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. And that's the end of this vlog. That's me explaining why I wasn't able to make a video this past Sunday. What I'm going to do? I almost forgot to mention what I'm going to do. Okay, so this next upcoming weekend. Uh, what I'm gonna do is on Saturday and Sunday, so essentially both days this weekend, I'm going to make a uh, video. So, um, on Saturday, I'm going to do the video that would have been this past Sunday, and then Sunday is going to be the next thing. So, uh, yeah, until then, latest, yeah! Bro!